Hi everybody, welcome back to our spontaneous Instagram lives this week. I wanted to talk about multi-dimensional manifesting with the Helix Method. For those of you that are new to my world, I am Louisa Hamers, I'm the creator of the Helix Method. I'm also a Master Akashic Record teacher and consultant. And I'm so excited that you are here joining me, whether you're joining me live or of course if you're if you're catching the replay. So we're talking about multi-dimensional manifesting. So let me know, do you, what does that mean to you? I'd love to know what that means to you um, in, in the comments. This for, for me is, this is the awareness that we are multi-dimensional beings. And with this awareness, we can manifest so much, so much faster, um, which is just such a, such a gift because we're aware that there are actually other versions of ourselves that already exist. So we are spiritual beings that exist on many different levels across all dimensions, planes, spaces, times and all levels of consciousness. And so instead of manifesting purely from our, our conscious mind, our ego mind, we're opening up that channel and alignment across the different levels of our consciousness and, and dimensions. And so this is what we're up to with our Helix methodology. We're expanding our consciousness and calibrating to our higher a higher self vibrational signature. And this is absolutely game changing. So what's happening is we're calibrating to the, the highest timeline that's laid out in front of us. As I was talking about timelines, if you joined me yesterday on our call, uh, on our live, on our call, on our live yesterday, we were talking about how you change the, the timeline that you're on. And as we change the energetic charge of what, what is held within our human Wi-Fi from our past timelines and embody the codes of the codes of limitless possibilities, then all these different versions of you who are connected to your same oversoul, which this means you can download the information that you require for your highest timeline from your higher self. You can think of your higher self as your as your future self and your higher self as is your soul and your soul came here with a big plan for your life often it's bigger than the plan we originally thought as the little human versions of ourselves. But this big plan is all imprinted in your Akashic Record. And for, for those of you that don't know the Akashic Records or you do know the Akashic Records, let me know in the comments. If you worked with the Akashic Records before, is that language new to you? <laughs> let me know in the in the comments. Um, so if it's new to you, think of the Akashic Records as a, as, a, as a living library, a history of every thought, word, action that every every living creature has created throughout time and we're imprinting into the Akashic Records at, at this very moment. We're imprinting into the Akashic Records always. You being here is being imprinted into your Akashic Records and our human beings can envisage them. I think it's the easiest way to describe it is like you know spiritual Google, an online database, a huge library that you can access. So think of this as a soul level dimension of consciousness and the Akashic Records exist as, a, as an energetic archive of all souls throughout throughout time and this includes all present past and future possibilities and we can clear past life interference karmic patterns soul contracts and so much more working in this dimension all at this soul level of consciousness so we've got a lot going on in our personal energy fields in our different levels of consciousness so think of these layers as our soul level our higher self our conscious mind our subconscious mind and with the awareness that you are a multi-dimensional being existing on different levels at the same time right now beyond your physical body and your awareness that everything around you that you see is different rates of vibration because everything's frequency and vibration this really allows you to experience reality more flexibly does that make sense so I invite you to allow yourself to open up your channel and the alignment within and this is where you can bend reality and over the years, what I've noticed is that as my clients have cleared their beliefs, their emotions and the energies that are hanging out in their human Wi-Fi, they've changed the energetic patterns of their past timelines. And as they're clearing up their energy fields, they become more intuitive, which is so exciting. And that connection with their higher self-consciousness becomes stronger and stronger. And they receive clearer and clearer guidance so that their inspired actions that they then take have bigger results and they start to create those quantum leaps. And it happens every time every single time. Hi Sophia, 
you found me. So excited that you're joining us. So we're talking about multidimensional manifesting, and this really is the key to, to bending reality. And this is what we're up to with the, with the Helix Method. And one of the things that we can do to manifest multidimensionally is working with universal laws. So think of these laws as huge consciousness. And you can connect him with this consciousness and it's held on different planes. And each of the planes has its own particular energy, which is best described as a vibration. And these vibrations are the very essence of life in, in all its forms. So think of the, the lower planes have a lower frequency of vibration and the higher, obviously a higher frequency of vibration. And that's why as we're transmuting energy, we transmute it so quickly when we're tapping into higher consciousness and planes and working with our higher self and, and the Akashic records. Because everything is energy and the vibrational forces of the planes can, which is just so fantastic because this is how we get to co-create, can be influenced by the power of pure thought. So think of um, there being seven planes of existence. I know different schools of thought have different uh, different kind of theories on this. Think of them all working with conditions and laws and commitments, all creation being governed by universal principles and the principles that operate in our outer universe, you know, natural laws, you know, we know these as the seasons, the law of gravity. And then, of course, you know, just to give you some examples, and then, of course, we have the subtler laws that rule the, the hidden spiritual planes and the inner realms of our, our consciousness. And these laws affect how you think, how you relate to the universe how the universe and others relate to you because everything's in relationship so when we're just explain this for a bit when we're releasing and aligning using the phrase across all dimensions planes times and levels of consciousness what we're saying effectively is across all realities across all frequencies and across all levels of of consciousness so our thoughts and our words create things and impact consciousness we change our DNA through our consciousness by changing our consciousness. Your consciousness is fully aware and attuned to the application of the universal law and everything. And there are hundreds of universal laws. So for the purposes of today, we're going to tune in and see what's going on in your energy field in relation to how you interact with the law of vibration and the law of attraction. Let me know if you've heard of those uni universal laws in the, in the comments. So we're going, we talked yesterday about energy reversals and resistance. So we're going to see if you've got any resistance to working with the law of attraction, if you've got any re energy reversals to working with the law of um, attraction and vibration, and then we'll clear these and that, that will start to allow you to expand, to let go of any of the stickiness that might be might be hiding there um, in relation to you manifesting multidimensional dimensionally. Does that sound good? Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you're catching the replay, do let me know in the comments what's resonating for you. And if you've got any questions, do pop them below and I can always circle back and, and answer them. One of the key principles that underpins the work that we're doing together is that when is that we are all connected and unified through one field of electromagnetic energy. So everything that you know or perceive is connected to this field. We're connected right now through this electromagnetic field. And if one area in your life is feeling out of flow and you aren't receiving what you like, then you can think, okay, where else is this pattern showing up? And this is why it's really important that we can, you know, that we do this for ourselves is to clear our energy, our emotions and our thoughts so that we can calibrate to the experiences and that, that timeline that we actually want to experience. We can have, and you might have seen this in the environments that you work in, you know, you can have two people implement exactly the same strategy one have aligned energy and have huge success and you know if they're a, an entrepreneur they'll see their income grow and then the other one doing it from a misaligned energy of the, of the energy of oh my god this has got to work you know when you're in that space of like really kind of pushing um feeling i've got to really hustle everything's feeling really sticky and difficult and it can actually happen in that way if they think they're really aligned but they're in that push mode and of course if we're pushing something what are we doing we're actually pushing something away the trick is knowing what is going on subconsciously and then knowing how to change your vibration. And, you know, I always like to think of us, we're all on our own hero's journey as we're changing our lives. And if you think of as you're going on your hero's journey to break through your next revenue milestone, whatever that might milestone might be, those past timeline experiences pull on you to keep you on that old default timeline. So how is this affecting your ability to grow your business, 
to create more wealth for you, your family, your projects that you care about. Hello, my brother's just joined. Hi Angus, how are you doing? We're talking about timelines and changing your thoughts and emotions so that you can change your reality. So every experience you have had is referred to your current set point on that subject. And the thing is, we want to feel safe and in line with that set point and staying on that timeline in, ahead of us. So our energy and our neurological patterns in our brain are going to keep bringing us back to that set point, what feels familiar. And this is the thing, because we can think we're moving in that direction, but the patterns that were hardwired into our, our, our programming are going to just keep bringing us back to that set point. And the thing is, is we consciously know, of course, some of the resistances that we can feel in our body. We start to see ourselves, perhaps, let me know if this resonates. Perhaps you recognise you're like, you're not taking action on the things that you know that work. Suddenly you're really distracted or, you know, we all have unseen aspects going on. Our identity, our emotions, our thoughts and our beliefs all held in our subconscious are going to bring us back to that default timeline. Does that make sense? And this is where you can start seeing patterns occurring in your life. And often people will see it in relationships that they have with people. It's like, hang on, what is going on? It's like I'm dating the same person over and over again. Or you find yourself with the same type of boss over and over again. It's like, what? <laughs> How has this happened? And it's because we're literally just kind of, re the body wants to recreate what it knows to be familiar. So we have to take care of our consciousness to change it so we can have a different experience. So this is what we're doing when we're manifesting multidimensionally with the Helix Method. And we're going to do some muscle testing to find out where some possible stickiness in your field that you might not be aware of has been going on and releasing any resistance in our consciousness around working with these universal laws. And then we'll wrap up with living in the energy of the question and considering the aligned action to take. Does that sound good? Let me know in the comments if that sounds like, like a good thing to, to do and you are up for it. And of course, if you're watching a replay, as well, let me know in the comments how this is resonating, what sort of things have you recognised as showing up in your life. If you think about how a pattern is showing up in your life, so this could be in business, it could be in your health, it could be in your wealth, um, in family relationships, and relationship with friends, with, with all the things. And of course, everybody's got different areas that they want to focus on and, and work on. Alrighty, so we started diving into this yesterday, so I'm going to guide you through our techniques. I'm going to just invite you to just like you're going to go within for a meditation. And I'm going to invite you to, this will increase your life force energy. So think of this as just increasing the energy that you are holding in your field. So I'm going to invite you to breathe in for four, to hold for four, and then to breathe out for eight, and just to do that three times. And as you're doing that, just to become aware of the energetic structure, so to visualize your soul star chakra above your head. You don't need to know necessarily exactly where it is. It's just aware of something above your head. So just doing that at your own pace. And this is very relaxing and it just helps you to kind of become really centered and grounded as you go within so that you can listen to that soft voice of your soul and rather than the ego mind that can be really, really noisy sometimes. And then when you're ready, I like to think of this as a, an invocation that you're just kind of setting the intention because every cell in your body is listening. So if this resonates, then you can just repeat this after me or change the wording a little bit so it resonates for you. So speaking to all levels of my consciousness, I'm creating a clear channel of communication and manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self. So they are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. And then just notice how this is feeling in your body. Now you've just kind of been grounded and set that intention. And from this place, we're going to muscle test to see what resistance is bubbling up but with working with the universal laws. So we were talking yesterday about your intention for the revenue that you want to create in your businesses this week. And this is going to be different for everybody. And an example I was giving was 10, a 10K month, let's say. So just to bring into your mind, like, what is it that you're wanting to create this month? Are you wanting to bring in more money? Are you, are you what, what is it? How, how much is the money that you want to bring in? And have you got a vehicle for it to come in? You don't necessarily have to have one, but it's kind of easier for the conscious mind if you're like, yeah, I know how it's coming in. It's coming in through my business, through a new job, through a new project, product or program that I'm offering, or it could be rental property, whatever it might be. Alrighty, so 
you've got your amount of money that you're bringing in and then I'm going to invite you to bring that into your mind's eye and then to muscle test on these following statements. So the first one is, I have resistance to alignment with the law of attraction. The second one is, I have got an energy reversal with the law of attraction. So if you're not familiar with the law of attraction, that is just the principle that we are like little magnets and we are magnets attracting to us everything that is going on in our energy field. And so we that we use this phrase a lot in our in our in our world, like attracts like um, birds of a feather flock together. So we have that language of recognizing that like things come together. So that's essentially what the law of attraction is. And so when we're muscle testing to see if we've got any resistance to this, if we're wanting to create something new and positive in our lives and we've got resistance to birds of a feather flocking together, then we are going to not be moving in more ease to that timeline and, and attracting opportunities to us that are going to support us with that. So for those of you that weren't here yesterday, how to do the muscle testing is you're going to use your body like a dousing device. Now, I remember when I first did this in my bedroom, <laughs> which was like five, six years ago now, six years ago now, uh, I thought, what has just happened? Like, this is the most bizarre thing. And why do they not teach us in schools? Because where would the planet be if this was taught in schools? It really should be. So you're going to use your body. That said, you're going to use your body like a dousing device. Um, so what you do is you're going to, if you can, stand up without looking weird. If you're in the office, you might want to just quickly run to the loo so you can do it privately somewhere. Um, and But if you can stand up, then what you're going to do is just to use your body like a doubting device and you're going to muscle test to see which your body says yes or no to statements. Does that make sense? Hi, Shandae. Lovely to see you here. So I'm just explaining how to muscle test and then we're going to be muscle testing on resistance and reversed energy. So that reversed energy is where it's going the wrong way uh, to the universal law. So these two principles, the law of attraction and the law of vibration, which are two kind of um, components of the same theory, philosophy of birds of a feather flock together, if that makes sense, and like attracts like. Okay, so muscle testing. I'm going to get you to stand up, put your feet hip width apart, knees slightly soft, arms by your side. And then, if you haven't done this before, I'm just thinking of uh, those of you that have joined us that weren't here yesterday, is to just do a baseline test with your name. So I'm going to invite you to say something you know to be true. So I would say, my name is Louisa Havers, and then notice what my body does. And a great way to do this, if you're a skeptical type, is to make sure you've closed your eyes, to focus your energy and focus your attention on your heart area. So you're likely going to go into meditation or prayer, so it gets you out of your brain going, what am I doing? And then to say, my name is Louisa Havers, and then just notice can you feel anything? Do you feel yourself slightly sway forwards? Yes. Would you go backwards? And you can do this with your age as well. So I would do I'm 50 and I would go forwards. And if I was to say I'm 25, my body would be like, no, you're not. <laughs> go backwards. Let me know if that works or if there's any, any you need any support with that. I was helping people yesterday get supported and, and getting it working. So that because um, sometimes because you, you're thinking like, what am I doing? It can feel a bit strange. Another technique you can do if it's if if it's if you're not quite sure about it, just tap your thymus gland here, just breathing in calmly, breathing out, breathing in for four, breathing out, and then and then do the muscle test again just to get that baseline. So you know what a normal one feels like. So, you know, like if I was to say, my name is Louisa Havers, I'll go forwards like that. And I'm very responsive to it now because I've muscle tested so many times. Um, is that I, I can do it, I'm sitting down in my chair, I can do it sitting down in my chair, I can do it with my neck because I kind of know how to kind of just feel it, if that makes sense. And I know it works and I trust it completely, but I get it completely because I remember when I first started muscle testing, it can feel very clunky. Um, and so it's just really important just to kind of just to relax and just to be open and curious about what you might find out. OK, so once you've got your baseline, then I'm going to invite you to muscle test on these ones. I have resistance to alignment with the law of attraction. I have got an energy reversal with the law of attraction. And just for fun, muscle test on these, if you even if you're not quite sure what this all means, just to see and let me know in the comments. I have resistance to alignment with the law of vibration. 
I have got an energy reversal with the law of vibration. And then notice what you notice. Now here, if you have, if you get a yes, that means that there's something in your energy field that's just creating this slowing down around, allowing yourself to be in harmony with working with the, the, the philosophy of like attracts like. Birds of a feather flock together. So we want to clear that. And because our body is listening to everything that we're saying, we're going to clear that with a releasing statement. I'm going to invite you to say it once out loud so you can kind of hear yourself saying it and then twice internally. And this is so that it's like the thoughts that you hear in your head. Does that make sense? Okay, so. Come follow along with my wording. Okay, so just to breathe in for four and then breathe out for four. And then we're going to release, release this now. Okay, so I'll say it out loud so you can follow along. So I'm ready to release the energy reversals. Hi and welcome to co-creating with the universal laws of attraction, vibration. I transmute, uncreate and delete this from all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. So just think that of all levels of reality. And then just, this is really key as you're doing this, just notice how this feels in your body. Often when people are, when we're working on very specific beliefs, people will recommend memories will pop through or flash through or they'll suddenly feel a sensation or a pain in their body. And this is where you've been holding this energetic imprint of this thought, emotion and belief in the memory. And so what we're doing is just consci consciously changing that. So we're changing your energy field. Alrighty, so now you've done that once out loud, I'm going to invite you to do it twice internally. This is so you can hear it in your head. So repeat it silently. I'll say it out loud so you can follow along. We're just breathing in for four, breathing out for four. So what we're doing here is you're bringing your heart into coherence because it's easier to release things when your heart is in coherence. And then silently saying, I'm ready to release the energy reversals and resistance to co-creating with the universal laws of attraction and vibration. I transmute and create, delete this from all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. And just notice how this feels in your body. Do you feel peace? Are there any weird sensations bubbling up? Just observe. I'm going to do it one more time and this is so that we're holding the frequency and the intention around this is like I'm letting this resistance go I want things to be easier in life I can't wait to see what starts to come through for everybody so one more time I'm saying it in your head I'm ready to release the energy reversals and resistance to co-creating with the universal laws of attraction and vibration I transmute and create Delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. And then notice how you're feeling. How's your body responding? Are you getting hotter, colder, tummy gurgling, burping? What's going on? All normal, it's all energy moving. And then from this space, we're going to be intentional. So this is where we're imprinting. So we're instructing cells of our body to respond. We're instructing our subconscious mind to respond and to, to be in alignment with this statement. So again, just breathing in for four and then breathing out for four. So you're bringing your heart into coherence. And then you can follow along. I'm going to say it out loud once. The phrase is, I choose to be in flow with the universal laws of attraction and vibration across all dimensions planes times levels of consciousness really simple i'll say it slowly so you can follow along okay you ready i choose to be in flow with the universal laws of attraction and vibration across all dimensions planes times and levels of consciousness just taking a nice deep breath breathing in for four Breathing out for four. And notice how this is feeling. Just invite you to fill your heart up with love. 
allow your heart to start to feel like it's growing and expanding and getting bigger and brighter. And then to silently say, I choose to be in flow with the universal laws of attraction and vibration across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. So what we're doing, we're keeping the heart in coherence. So as we're imprinting with our brain, we are syncing up our heart and our brain. And this imprints more strongly into the subconscious. So silently saying in your head, so you can hear the thought in your head, I choose to be in flow with the universal laws of attraction and vibration across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. And again, just noticing how this is feeling, what's shifted in your body. And from this space, I'm going to invite you to think about the thing that you're wanting to create this month. So we've been using the example of money. So we're going to say this phrase as if it's already happened. So starting to create the sensations in the body so the body knows that it's safe to experience this. Remember, we're talking about being on the default timeline. So this is why it's so important for the body to have already experienced it for then to, for you to be able to experience it, if that makes sense. So this is why we're saying it as, as if it's already happened. So for example, I was using the, um, the amount uh, 10,000. So you'd say, I have just now received 10,000. And then, well, how would you feel you do if you had already just received it? We want it to feel normal and to feel like, of course, it always happens. So it could be like, of course I have. <laughs> I feel so grateful, happy and peaceful. And just allowing yourself to really feel into what would that feel like as you saw that amount of money coming into your bank account, for example. OK, so pick your amount in your head and then I'm going to say this out loud for you. So you're going to follow along out loud and then we're going to do it twice internally. And again, I'll say it out loud all the way through so that you can just follow follow along all right so taking a nice deep breath in breathing in for four and breathing out for four as you're bringing your heart into more and more coherence go at your own pace everyone's going to be slightly different here fill your heart up with more and more love so bring into your mind's eye someone that you love it can be a family member children it needs to feel like a pure love so there's no wonkiness in the energy And from this space to say out loud, I have just now received over 10K. Of course I have. And how do you feel? I feel so grateful, happy, peaceful, accomplished, whatever it might be for you. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. You can stay with this feeling so that you're imprinting it for longer. And you're going to hear yourself say it in your head now. I have just now received over 10k. Of course I have. I feel so grateful, happy, peaceful. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Notice how your body's responding. Feel your heart filling up with more and more love. I'm going to do it one more time internally. I have just now received over 10k. Of course I have. I feel so happy, grateful, peaceful, whatever the feelings may be for you. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. whilst you're here, I invite you to live in the energy of the question. So we've activated this frequency in your field by really connecting in with that future experience. We've brought it into the now, into your consciousness, into the now. So we're going to ask a question because we create our reality with the types of questions that we ask. So we're going to create our reality with a question as if this has already happened. So keeping the breath work, breathing in for four, breathing out for four, I invite you to ask, why am I surrounded by love and abundance? Just notice how that feels. 
And it's as if you're asking, like, oh, how does this happen? This is amazing. Like, why am I surrounded by love and abundance? How am I receiving such large sums of money consistently? So you've got that energy of wonder and awe. You know how we feel as kids, like we're, the whole world is delightful and we're just amazed by it all. We want that kind of energy of like, oh my God, how's this happened? Just allow yourself to sit with this question as you're feeling the energy of this. And then notice what ideas you get. A name, somebody's name might pop into your head. So you'll think of somebody you haven't thought of for months. Ring them. <laughs> Ring them, see how they are. Just see what synchronicities unfold from that. So really pay attention to that soft voice. Now you've activated that. Or opportunities that come your way that you might normally go, that's so weird that that happened. <laughs> or you'll think of someone and then they'll ring you. Pay attention to all those things. Does that make sense? <laughs> this is where the magic unfolds. Alrighty, so let me know what resonates. Super excited to see what you're what you're creating. And if it's okay with everybody, I'd love just to take a few moments to personally invite you to the Helix Method. This is our energy psychology certification program where I teach you how to master energy psychology. I mean, this is just scratching the surface, what we've uh, started with today. So I'll teach you how to master energy psychology and reality creation. And when I think back to, you know, just one of my clients, when she finally broke through her upper limit and she tripled her income, no less, she had just the biggest smile on her face and it was such a joy to see. And this is just lights me up when this happens you know I've been leading online energetic programs for over six years now I've been leading workshops and events and coaching for nearly 20 years now and it's through this massive experience I've really come to understand what makes the biggest difference in creating life-changing results for clients and when clients aren't making progress you know you know are in alignment with their, what they desire is because of fear and resistance that's arising completely naturally because they're expanding their identity and their perception of self, and so they can go into a contraction and the thing is and you'll know this if you're um, a coach already um, or a therapist already it's not only your client that's feeling it you can be feeling it too and I've got great news for you because you can really learn how to skillfully and energetically coach your clients beyond their contraction and their blocks and their fears and their resistances all humans have them <laughs> we will have them and fear always comes up whenever someone is reaching for their goals. It's just completely normal. So that said, the thing is, when fear is like super sensitive and responding to a business problem that as if it's life or death situation, then knowing how to help your client navigate this is, is just a complete game changer. And this is how we guided our client to creating the results that she did, you know, helping her to soothe her nervous system and expand her capacity as she navigated like huge personal and professional life stuff. Um, it, it was massive, massive stuff. So this is what we're up to in the Helix Method. You'll learn how to work with energetic blocks, fear and resistance to help clients have a new awareness of what's going on in their subconscious and how it's held in their bodies. And, you know, being able to activate clients' intuition and self-mastery of energetics so that they can then take action towards the goals without their body's chemistry. We're talking about their body's chemistry needing to be in alignment. So without their body's chemistry pulling them back and without the limiting belief sending them down on the wrong path, without them having to spend hours and hours, you know, on in the work before they actually ever see, you know, see, see a change. So if you're like me and you deeply care about supporting clients with transformational change um, and helping them to master their energetics so they can live the life that they want to, to live, then I would love to invite you to join us in our next cohort of the Helix Method. We have got the most incredible pre-enrollment savings at the moment, up to 40% off before the end of August. And you can purchase in both USD and British pounds. You've got the two options there. And when you um, when you get started, you start with immediate access to the membership site and training. So you can get started straight away and I'll show you what to focus on. And then we have our live calls starting in September, which start on the 21st of September. And the Helix Method Certification Program is the premier training for energy coaches who are you know, committed to creating rapid results with their clients. And you want to have the tools so you can masterfully guide your clients through any situation, no matter how strange it can be. Um, we, we dive in deep so you'll be able to hold the container to go deep with your clients to be able to alchemize the root of procrastination, resistance, fear, limiting beliefs and so much more. 
um, you know, so many people will say to me, this might sound really weird. I'm like, it does not sound weird at all. You know, your subconscious um, does not surprise me with how it brings things together and merges things, etc., and creates these, creates these blocks. And in the Helix method, you will also transform yourself personally because you will be changing your own limiting beliefs, fears and resistance. So it's a dual process. You're learning and doing the work on yourself as you're buddying up with um, we've got the most amazing community. Everybody's so fabulous. So you all get to buddy up with each other and practice with each other. And so you have your own spiritual awakening and, and journey and transformation. And ultimately, as you shift all these thoughts and emotions and beliefs in this programming, that's simply just not yours, you actually realise who you truly are. And you're not who you thought you were. <laughs> you learn how to reprogram your human Wi-Fi so you can have success beyond what you originally thought you could ever have. So it's so exciting. And how I do this, so you have a, a hybrid of, you've got a membership site with like 40 plus training uh, trainings on, you know, different aspects of reality creation and energy psychology. You receive step-by-step -step technique training live from me, and you'll receive lots of modeling techniques and the opportunity to practice each skill um, and to receive feedback as well. And you get to ask me any questions as you want, and I'll answer every single one. So you're getting coached by me directly. And then you walk away with a toolbox of skills and techniques, plus a license to deliver three programs that you can use in your own business with your own clients so that you're equipped to help your clients have the transformational results that they desire. And our program is accredited by the IPHM. So it's an accredited certification program. It is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and we, as always, because I always like to um, upgrade things as, as, we, as we're growing, our, um, growing each year, so we've got some huge upgrades coming for you as well, plus huge bonuses to help you grow your business to six and multi six figures and beyond. When I think back over the years, I've invested probably well over 200K in, in my own personal development and in developing my business and growing my business and growing our business revenue to close to a million over the six years that we've been in business. So it's, this is a complete steal at, um, so the investment is 12,000. However, we do have a summer pre-enrollment rate for you where you can enjoy up to 40% off. So you can get started with a payment of 600 followed by 11 payments of 600. So that total is 7,200. Or you can enjoy an extended payment plan. That's available too. So if that suits you better, you can get started with a payment of 400 followed by 17 payments of 400. Or if you enjoy to pay in full and save, then it's just one payment of 6,000. So that's to work with me for a whole year. Um, and you can also have the option, as I mentioned earlier, to, to pay in USD. So we've got, got the options in USD and in British pounds. And if you're like, you know, you, you want to come in and you just want to put a deposit down to secure your spot, we can do that. And then we can agree the payment plan start dates as well. So we've got you covered there. Hey, Steph, how are you doing? Lovely. Hope your holiday is going well. Loving the pics, loving the pics. Already, so I hope that makes that makes sense. Our Helix Method community just has a really high vibe with self-led entrepreneurs and coaches. We've got five spots left, just to mention that. So it is first come, first serve. I am looking for humans who have high integrity and are self-aware and recognise that they need to do their own inner work as we're taking care of our relationship with ourselves, mastering reality creation, so that we can lead the way. And we are the role models for, our, you know, not only ourselves, our families, our friends, but also for, for our clients. And, you know, when we're working with people's energy fields and consciousness to have high integrity is a quality that I really look for in our clients that are coming to, to join us in the Helix Method Certification Program. So if you're feeling called, just reach out to me in DMs or you can e email us at clientcare at louisahavers.com and just let us know. Say, I'm interested. We'll get all the juicy details over to you. I've got a Google Doc, which has got everything laid out so you can... Um, have a read through whilst you're sitting in your own energy and then just circle back and let us know if you're in or out or of course if you've got a question and then we'll take it from there Alrighty, i hope that this has served you i'm sending you all lots and lots of love i'm going to be back tomorrow live at about the same time again as i've mentioned it's very spontaneous this week popping here doing these instagram lives and tomorrow we're going to be talking about life after the breakthrough and so on monday i was talking about unleashing your limitless potential and getting you set up with the codes of limitless possibility yesterday we started talking about how you can manifest anything by collapsing timelines and today we've been talking about multi-dimensional manifesting 
and tomorrow I will be back here on Instagram Live talking about, okay, so what happens after the breakthrough? This is all well and good, things are going really well, momentum started, I've broken through, and now what? Because you want to hold that up level. So we're going to dive into that tomorrow. Does that sound good? Anyway, sending you all lots and lots of love. I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.